Ooh. Yo, it's... No way! Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy and Putty God is back with another special video. So, in this video, we're gonna be making the lightest Beyblade Burst Beyblade. But before we get into this video, Putty Squad, where you at? Represent down below. Hashtag Putty Squad. Can we get 200 likes? I think we can, boys. So, that's right. We have a few parts laid out, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Beyblade. Um, so yeah, this thing is gonna be incredibly light. We're gonna start off with the layer. So the layer is gonna be the Dragoon S layer, and this is Tartomi. It is basically super hollowed out, and it doesn't weigh a lot. So it's the lightest layer thus far. As far as Takaratomi goes, this is the lightest one you can get. Next, we have the disc, which is the time disc. And yes, this is 3D printed. Um, it's made out of, or entirely out of plastic, and it doesn't weigh a lot either. So it's an extremely light disc. And then lastly, we have Zephyr. So Zephyr is also the lightest driver, if you guys didn't know. And it's pretty hauled out, so yeah, it's a super, super light. Anyway, we're gonna put this all together and it is gonna be tight because of the time disc alone. It's kind of finicky, but here we go. We got the entire Beyblade here, Dragoon S Time Zephyr. And now I'm gonna get my scale real quick. We're gonna weigh this bad boy and we're also gonna compare it with another Beyblade. Okay, so we're gonna start off with winning Valkyrie. So that weighs 39.6 grams, so almost 40 grams for this Beyblade. And now we're gonna weigh Dragoon S. 16 grams exactly. Now my scale might not be 100% accurate, but 16 grams for one Beyblade is super, super light. That is, or I guess this Beyblade weighs almost, or I guess more than twice the weight of Dragoon just this Beyblade alone, so that's insane. Anyway, we're gonna do some test battles right now. We're gonna battle it against a bunch of different Beyblades, and we're gonna see if it will even hold up because it is super, super light. But yeah, let's get to the battles. Oh, it just got bodied by Strike God Valkyrie. It won't even last. Oh, oh, some major hits. Oh my gosh. Let's try out something easier to burst. Nope, even that didn't work. Yo! Ooh! Yo, it's... No way! Got some hard hits. But really, it looks like Dragoon's the one being thrown around. Aw, oh, man. Ooh. It's still surviving. I believe in it. Oh. All right, it's actually staying in the stadium. It's making some contact. Oh, that hit. Oh wait, it picked up its balance. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, train Fafnir. Whoa. Aw. Oh, dang. Oh, 
Dang. Ooh. I like that it picks up its balance just slightly towards the end and then it just loses. Dang, it even lost the, the seal. What was that? Victory Valkyrie is beating it. Hey, it's actually lasting. Oh, what? It bursted it. All right, guys, you guys saw the battles. This Beyblade got wrecked by just about everything that I threw at it, which was really sad. It's extremely light and it just doesn't last in battle. It gets tossed around. I still don't know how it bursted Galaxy Zeus, um, but then at the end, it did stand a chance against the original Spriggan, so not too bad. Once again, this Beyblade is only 16 grams. That's insane. If you guys do want to see more battles or more videos featuring this Beyblade, make sure to smash that like button down below. Let's make it happen, boys. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for much more on the way very soon. Anyway, until next time, guys. See ya.